What's good? It's Fever. Today we're going to briefly look at the class structure found in Trio Savior. It's pretty interesting. A lot of people hear that the game has 80 classes, which it does, but the way that the classes come into play is pretty unique and can offer some really quirky ways to build your character. So unlike what you'd imagine, when you create your character, you are only given the option to choose between four different classes. The Swordsman, the Archer, the Wizard, and the Cleric. In Tria Savior, you have both a character level and a class level. This is because classes will level up and be given the option to advance to more powerful and defined classes. For instance, when a cleric hits class level 15, they will have the option to advance to the Crivis or the Priest class, and in doing so, they will gain access to this new class's abilities and attributes while retaining all of the abilities and attributes that they already have as a cleric. Besides these two options, a player can choose to delay advancing their class and instead increase the circle of their current class. And circle is a game specific term, it basically just means ranking. So you can choose to stay a cleric, rank up so to speak, and will gain access to additional cleric abilities and attributes. And you can delay your advancement and increase your circle up to two times before having to advance. The option to branch out and change character class will happen a total of nine times as you play. Now a quirk about this is that you are only given the option to advance to a specific class once. So if you decided to stay a cleric at class level 15, the next opportunity to advance, your options would be a Bokor or a Diev Durbis, they're awful names for sure, but you've blown it with the Crivis or Priest. Now this makes builds interesting because as you level up and unlock classes, two of the very same classes can be completely night and day as the abilities that make up your character's kit can be cherry picked from different classes before it. So your paladin and my paladin could be completely different. On top of this, there are also hidden classes, which all we really know about them is that they become available when certain thresholds of adventure points are hit, and an inclusion of crafting or utility type, like pure support classes, exist in each of the class trees. And I say class trees because each of those starter classes, Swordsman, Archer, Wizard, and Cleric, have different options as they level up. 20 classes per tree, 80 classes in total. And hopefully this gives you a better understanding of the class system, and with a bit of thought you can see how this can make character builds really cool, and probably increase the playability as you might want to just make completely different crazy and wild character builds. Until next time, this is Fever. Perth.